It has come to my attention that people are very angry at me, and I am listening. You're all very disappointed in me and my willingness to admit that Red Bull is a personality trait, and drinking it is all I live for. And I'm listening, and I will do better. And I take accountability. And I will continue to take accountability by pouring a fat glass of it. Fuck you. <laughs> I planned that, sorry. And also guys, it came to my attention that a lot of you are very angry at me for talking very fast. So fuck you, I'm gonna talk even faster in this video, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Hi my Trishy Smishies, welcome back, woo! So let me pour a Red Bull, then we're gonna get into it. Today's video is gonna be super fun. I have allegedly here with me, he's doing really well. So let me give you a little backstory. It is currently 11 past 12. Now, if you know, that's normally not a time I would be awake, and that's very true because I pulled an all-nighter. Listen, this full YouTube thing is really fun when it comes to filming videos and doing all this, but there's also a side of it you don't see, which I'll talk about really quickly. There's a business side behind it where people want to do Zoom meetings, want to do sponsorships, and I've been doing a lot of Zoom meetings and haven't been sleeping because I'm on an American time zone because companies only want to talk to me on an American time zone. Thank y'all. And you're watching Adam channel. <laughs> so yes, I did have a Zoom meeting until 10 a.m. my time. And then I was like, let's just film videos. But I'm in a really good mood today, so I'm really excited about that. So guys, we're going to be talking about Garrett and Shane. Now, if you don't like how I pronounce Garrett, that's another thing. I don't fucking care. Someone said, well, his name is Garrett. Adam, his name is Garrett. Okay, I'm listening. I just don't care. Let's be real. There's such thing called accents and pronunciations, and if someone is called Garrett over here, it's called Garrett. I'm not gonna change my pronunciation just to appeal to my audience. I'm so sorry, this is my channel. If you don't like it, please continue watching. <laughs> I'm kidding, but if it annoys you that much, then maybe this video isn't for you. But we're gonna be talking about Garrett and Shane Dawson. Bitch, why is you flashing? Stay upright. Oh my god, he is flashing me. Oh, I'm so sorry. So in the past, I've done videos talking about Gara and Shane, and some people have been like, Adam, you're reaching with this video, and honestly, I never think I have been. You know, I'm a person who loves to reach, honestly, it's good stretching, but I never thought I really was, but even if you think I was, this time, I'm not reaching, because Garrett has literally done something that has acted out showing his not support of Shane, so... How are the Shane Dawson fans gonna defend this one and be like, Adam, you're a hater? Cause there's proof here. So before I tell you exactly what has happened, Allegedly. was really craving the fact to do that. <laughs> Let's keep in mind that Gara and Andrew, Shane's ex-filmer, because he's not really working with Shane right now, but then again, Shane's not really making projects, but still, he's just not working with him. And I predicted that he was gonna start working with Gara, and look what's happened. Literally every single Gara video now is filmed by Andrew, and they're together in their own little group, and they seem so happy, and I'm so happy for them. I just want to see them happy, because... Good on y'all, y'all deserved it. And whenever I predicted that Garrett was gonna bring Andrew on board and start filming videos with him, everyone thought that I was delusional. And look what has happened. Garrett is literally so much more active now on YouTube because he's filming all these videos with Andrew and he seems so happy and Garrett's just so pure and so innocent and I love Garrett. And Andrew seems really happy with him. And I'm going to be honest, my opinion is on Andrew recently have been a bit fuzzy just because if you're friends with someone like Shane, then you are an enabler because you're around that behavior. And then he was friends with Jeffrey. And you know what I mean? As much as I want to say that Andrew is a nice guy, and I'm going to say that now because watching these videos with Garrett, he really does seem like a genuine nice guy. There's just a part of me that's always been a little bit iffy about Andrew just because... That's his day-to-day, -day, you know what I mean? Like, Shane and that behavior, and Jeffrey as well. Like, even if you're not on board with the full Shane thing, like, Jeffrey. So, there's always just... And the fact that he dated Gabby Hanna, like... <laughs> so what if he's a monster? I'm not gonna do the full thing, because I ruined my voice. Literally, if you don't know what happened, I sang Monster literally every single day. No joke. During July, and I lost my voice recently, and I'm pretty sure it was related to the fact that I sang Monster so much. So now I'm just gonna go, Monster! You know, like, uh, maybe like a little octave lower. But the effect's still there, my Trishy Fishies. But to reiterate again, I actually really like Andrew's personality in these videos with Gar. He just seems like a really nice, genuine guy like Gar does, so maybe that's why they get on so well. So happy for them. Yay. So over summer, Garrett actually responded to a TikTok that was making fun of Shane and cancel culture and apologies. And he basically didn't do a comment directly about Shane, but again, it was under something or along that time of the Shane taking accountability video. And so people linked it together. We did a video on it and that was shady too, but people were still like, hey, Adam, I'm still not on board with this. Maybe he was talking about something else. Well, he's now acted in a way that you can't say it's not about Shane. 
So Garp Watts had tweeted, and now on Twitter you can do a thing where you can hide replies. I've never understood this feature because if you hide a reply, you hide less replies than there are replies. So if someone clicks on the see hid replies, they can see that reply easier. You know what I mean? But if the person who tweeted wants to hide a reply, it means they just... You know what I mean. So Gart had tweeted something and then he hid this tweet. Now, he didn't have to do this, so that's why people are like... <laughs> okay. The tweet says, can you please tell Shane Dawson to come back? I miss his videos and I need to see part two of the demons in his house. Now, this is the only tweet that he has hid and it's the only tweet that is still hidden. Like he is not just, you know, on him. It wasn't like a, oh, ah, shit, undo it. This has been there for ages. Like people are literally being like, uh, uh, <laughs> because people know that there's something happening now for certain because of this. You know what I mean? Like you can't just be like, ah. It was a mistake because it's been up now and Garrett hiding this tweet has actually made this tweet more visible and everyone is talking about this literally the replies are like You know what I mean like <laughs> And I think we can all just assume that Garrett and Shane's friendship right now is on the rocks Allegedly. But it was always a question of how is Andrew and Shane's because Andrew is still an employee So has he lost his job or is he just gonna get paid by Garrett now like what's Allegedly. Happening. People keep asking who Allegedly's voice is, by the way. Allegedly. That's me. I did that while in the middle of a Build-A-Bear. Allegedly. Hear the noise in the background? Yeah, I literally went up to the mic like, Allegedly. <laughs> Just to answer your question. So what we're gonna do is read what my subscribers are feeling. I'm gonna talk, you're gonna talk, we're gonna vibe. These are juicy. Strawberry Milk is my mood, said, so happy for you, by the way. I think he just doesn't really want anything at all to do with Shane anymore, and I don't blame him at all. I actually applaud him for that. Should we all applaud? Why did I applaud so weird? I clapped like the- what the- sorry, I haven't slept. Zadia said, that's good, he's trying not to associate himself with a bad person. He honestly is doing the best that he can, and that's amazing that he realizes that what Shane has done is bad. He also probably just doesn't want to keep being associated with Shane. I would do the same. Also, love your videos. Thank you. Tangerine Girl said he is definitely trying to distance himself as much as possible from Shane. Good for him, honestly. I'm excited for his future videos on his own. And honestly, Sam Gar is killing it with the content. But I think him hiding this is also him speaking out without him having to do a tweet. Because everyone is seeing the fact he hid this tweet, by the way. Like, this isn't like a hidden thing. So this is so much easier than him coming out with a tweet. V Scared said, I have a theory. Oh my god, conspiracy theory. Legend. Guard has been trying to distance himself from Shane for a while, i.e. before he got cancelled. Which time? Okay. Now that Shane is off the platform, it's like a weight is off his shoulders and he feels comfortable making videos again. And yeah, it's very interesting that Gar is making more videos now than he does whenever Shane's back. But people are also like, I miss Shane, come back. Girl, he uploaded like two videos a year. Kerry Ford said, part two of the demon in his house, question mark? It's him, sis. Shane's the demon. You're welcome. Jail. Angelum said, bro, Gar is just going to drop Shane, as he should, but I feel like everyone in his situation would just do the same. I think Gard is just going to say it's his time to move on, and indeed it is. Autumn said, Gar and Andrew are thriving. Gar is thinking, I'm sorry, Shane who? Olivia said, I can't imagine it feels very good for him to know that people are only interacting for him because he knows Shane personally. But the thing is, Gar has his own audience. I know the way this person meant their response was... They don't want Garth thinking that he just has his audience through shame. Honestly, I don't think he does because he's so quirky and has his own audience and he's really built his own platform and his own thing. And you know what? <laughs> really have to give him props for that because I didn't associate Garth with Shane, nor do I really now just because he really kills it with his own content. He's so original. And even if he did get the audience from Shane, I think more of the audience from Shane are just staying with Garth now. <laughs> the Pumpkin Snowman said, Imagine actually wanting Shane Dawson to come back and going out of your good way to message a former friend of his to be your messenger oil to bring him back. Can't relate. Darcy said, I mean, it's clear that they haven't been friends for a while now. I think that Gar is just now fully separating himself. I think before he just stayed further away from that fact, but is now going all out. D Max said, honestly, so proud of Gar. He's such a sweet, wholesome person. And I, from my memory at least, never heard of him trying to make any jokes to go along with Shane's ridiculous, horrible sense of humor. He's always been himself and has been shot down and made to look like the stupid friend that gets side-eyed because of it. I relate to him a lot and it's awesome to see him starting up his own thing. Hopefully Andrew can keep him on track and won't go back to Shane whenever Shane decides it's safe to come back. 
Morgan said, I don't think you were reaching before, Adam, but now, now, this is T. Doesn't surprise me, though, Gart is way too good to even be associated with Shane. BD said, what's the point of hiding tweets if people can still see them? I've never seen this before. Kind souls, please help me out. So basically, hiding replies is just... You hide them and they go into a different section of replies, but people can click that thing where it says hidden replies here and then they see them. It's a really dumb feature, Twitter. I don't know what they were doing. Ray said, I think he's trying to distance himself from the idea of Shane, if you get what I mean, because sometimes when people think about Shane, they think of Gara and Drew and Andrew, and I think he's trying to be more known for himself and not known as one of Shane's friends, or ex-friends now, and I think that's the best thing he can do. Not sure if that makes sense, but yeah, seems like he's just trying to stop the association with Shane altogether. Good for him, he deserves to be recognized as an individual, not because he's Shane's friend. We'll read out two more, said the 606 said, I feel like he's been trying to stop this association with Shane Dawson. He's trying to make a name for himself, and honestly, good for him, yeah. And finally, Tarot said, Ugh, as much as I loved the Spooky Boy series, and it was entertaining, Shane was awful for Garrett, constantly belittling him and making him feel bad or shutting him down when he started talking about things he loved. It was the same with Andrew in a few of Ryland's videos. I used to love Shane, but you can't admit to be an empath and then spend all your time making the people around you feel bad for doing things that make them happy. Tea. Yeah, I just checked and everyone on Twitter is talking about this hidden reply and they're like Because y'all this is like one hidden reply in all of these like everyone sees it It's highlighted even more like he knows what he's doing. I said he knows what he's doing. He knows This is an all-nighter brain. We be all night love Horrible voice. Have you seen the TikTok of James Charles? And it's like bring me a little water now Bring me a little water now. It's like the weirdest like tone death video ever. He goes like, bring me a little water now. Bring me a little water. Fucking and whatever name. It's so bad. Let me get this up. Sorry, I have to show you. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. <laughs> it's the fact James Charles like built his career off of like this big of an ego. Look at this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing it. So guys, tell me what you think about Gar acting out in this way. That's king shit. His videos are so good, by the way. Gar, we love you on this channel. And Andrew, we're now opening you with open arms. For the meantime. <laughs> How was dating Gabby Hannah like? <laughs> Do you think she wrote monster about him? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I love you and I will see you in my next video and people really liked when Allegedly Bear gave you a hug so Allegedly. I will see you and thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this cozy day. Bye. Hug. Yay. Okay, bye bye. Bring me a little water now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bring me a little.